the golden anniversary running of the Indianapolis Speedway Classic. And when the crowd of 200,000 sees the balloons go up, they're ready to settle down in the carnival atmosphere for the hours-long duel. There are 33 starters, but while many are called to the starting line, usually less than half finish the grueling grind. All but one of the cars zooming around the brick track are American. The exception is a rear-drive, lightweight powerhouse driven by Australian Jack Brabham. John Davis drops his crankcase an hour after the start, and it's a chain reaction as one car after another piles up, five and all. The crowd is witnessing a near miracle, for none of the drivers is injured except for bruises. For a half hour, the race is slowed and damaged cars are removed. Then they're up to speed once more. Leader Eddie Sachs has to drop out to change a tire. A.J. Foyt zooms into the lead to win by five seconds, the second closest finish in the history of the race. Five seconds have made $125,000 to Foyt, the richest purse ever at Indianapolis. He's the number one speedster on the racing scene today.